Hey guys, today I have an update of all my World War II 9th Infantry Division uh, update on my gear, I guess you could say. Um, recently I've acquired uh, the Bandolier, the map case, the Muset bag, the suspenders, sort of. Uh, the, um, the cigarettes right there, uh, all that stuff actually, you know. Um, the belt, the two pouches, the ration, the, the stripes, the chevron, and the camo HBTs, and, yeah, that's it. So, uh, I'm gonna do a rundown of all it. And uh, let's get started with this. So recent, so uh, uh, this past week, I was at a reenactment at Fort Mont, New Jersey, and I got this reset bag for thirty dollars from one of my friends in the unit. And I've had the suspenders for since kind of uh, so a month. DJ Ohio is when I got them. Um, so the reset bag is designed to go on that. So I popped that on there. Um, then I put my uh, suspenders on the on my M1 Grand belt and on my belt, of course, I have my first aid pouch, uh, bayonet, uh, repro bayonet, um, canteen pouch with dated 1945 canteen and uh, cup. Uh, then I have my all my blanks in here. <clears throat> I actually have acquired some other blanks. Yeah, what are they called? Jensen blanks or something? I don't know. What they're called, I bought them from a friend. From my commander in my unit, actually. Well, I have my ammo belt just for show. This part would go in the can, this would stick out of the ammo can. Um, I have my M1928 uh, haversack, it's got my T-handle shovel, I have a Marine Corps cover on it, uh, and then inside the meat can pouch is the, uh, I think it's a meat can pouch, I it's called, but it's got my, uh, it's got my, um, whatever, the mess, mess kit. Um, to the left here, uh, oh yeah, here's my ration. Uh, U.S. Army M unit, menu number four, chicken chunks. Uh, then above this, I have my pistol belt from EMC Militaria. And the carbine pouch on the right is from EMC Militaria. Uh, pistol belt, awesome. Holds up well, very strong. Used it, love it. Uh, carbine pouch, uh, strong, but I don't like it. Um, the main reason is there's too much space between these. As you can see, you got a lot of extra fabric there. You know, on this, you have no extra fabric. And that's an original one over there. Exactly like this, no extra fabric. Um, so that's what I don't like about their carving pouches. Uh, to the left of this, I have a map case. Um, hold, you can hold your pencils here. Uh, and here I have a uh, message envelope. The message... Uh, Another this is oh, of email and then a Western Union telegram. I made all these. Um, yes, yeah, so that's what I have in there. And then the D Day coming out thing in there. Like these, Luftwaffe or something. Not Luftwaffe, uh, Fairmont. Uh, notepad. And then all this stuff right here goes inside of it. Um, maps. Stuff. And then I have a uh, service writing tablet, a uh, map of Germany, uh, Lucky Strike cigarettes, these are knockoffs from World War II impression, uh, Zippo lighter, I don't have any fluid in there right now, just got it, went out today. Uh, and then I have incendiary 30 caliber uh, rounds, this, this is fake, just for sure too. Um, so that's that stuff, and then I have my bandolier that I just filled with blocks of wood I painted OD green. So, you know, when you're running, people think there's rounds on there, I guess. Um, 
just to get it somewhere else. Up here in my M41 jacket from at the front. Um, good, good, uh, great replica. Just the only problem is the buttons, they did not sew them on well. I have one that fell off to my pants over there. I'll have to sew, <clears throat> sew it back on today. Um, on my jacket, I have a replacements patch. Uh, I'm still on the probation period for 9th Infantry Division, so once I'm in there for six months uh, or a year, um, I'll be a full member. Uh, I joined back in January at Fort Indian Town, so coming up on a year actually. Um, but my first reenactment with them was in April, uh, so. So it's been six months, but you know, probably have to wait a full year um, till April. Uh, which I don't mind that much. I mean, they're my friends now. Uh, then I have my uh, what is it? U.S. Army uh, rough out shoes. Uh, let's see if you can see in there. These are from at the front. June thirtieth, nineteen forty-two. Read that U.S. Army. Uh, I just put mink oil on them, uh, so they were bright. They were like this color. They're like oh, whatever. I can't really see. But they were really light brown before I put put the mink oil on them. Uh, and then I have U.S. Marine Corps leggings that I use. Uh, very closely resemble the Army ones, so I'm just using those for now until I can get Army ones. Um. To the uh, right of those, I have my uh, technician fifth grade patches. Uh, I speak German, so uh, I'm gonna use technicians, and then uh, once I get the rank of corporal, so uh, that'll be for a while yet. Yeah. Uh, up here, I have my standard U.S. Army HBT pants. They recently acquired um, the U.S. Army HBT uh, camo pants and shirt. Uh, I got those both for a steal. They're brand new. Uh, I got them for $15, which is pretty awesome. I got them with the hat too, even though they never use this hat. Um, and then above this, I have my standard wool shirt with the U.S. Army HBT shirt. Brand new, 15 bucks. Awesome deal. Um, it was from a guy in my unit. Uh, he wanted to keep them eventually, but... Uh, he let me grab them, so yeah. So and um, <clears throat> above my shoes and HBTs, I have my uh, M1 steel pot helmet with my camo or not camo. What am I saying? The uh, with my netting on it uh, from at the front. Paid like four bucks for it. Uh, it is a Vietnam helmet. Uh, See Viet the liner is Vietnam. I don't know the helmet might be Vietnam too, but um, you can see how a unique way of attaching the uh, liner straps. It's the only way I could attach it to this Vietnam <coughs> helmet liner. Um, so that's my helmet, and then I have my overseas cap. I will soon be getting the 60th Regiment uh, pin for it, because uh, that's at the front also. Um, and this is my kit for my, uh, this is my standard infantry to, infantry kit. Uh, usually I'd be using the haversack, but for this video I mean, have my set bag on there because it's now. So uh, hope you guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section below. Uh, I can answer any questions you have. Uh, well, thanks for watching, and um, please give me good reviews. Thank you.